Hello, lovelies. Oh, there we go. I'm trying to zoom in. Let me make sure my screen is clean. Eek. Okay, my little camera needs to be clean. Fun fact Friday. I thought it'd be a fun thing to do. Okay, let's start with this one. This is my lip conditioner that was half empty. And then I took a little bit of my blush color that I don't wear very often called Venice and I melted it with it. And now I have the most beautiful tinted lip conditioner. I love it. All right, I'm gonna get ready. And while I'm doing it, I thought I would share some fun facts with you. And if you have any questions about me and you're watching this, please ask and I will answer them. I'll answer almost anything. Um, let's start with fun fact number one. And the reason why I'm doing these is because I've realized that I get so used to using Saint and talking about Saint that some people are new to it and they don't really get it. So. One of the things I want to share with you is that probably about 80% of my Saint customers I have never met in person. How crazy is that? I've never seen them in person or they don't even live in my city or state. I have virtually color matched them with the photo and then a lot of times we will just do a video lesson together like a private video lesson on FaceTime or something like that and yeah probably 80% of the people that buy Saint from me I have never met in person I've never seen them in person and I think that's surprising to a lot of people in fact it would have been to me before I was with Saint I would have never bought something without like touching it and feeling it and smelling it <laughs> and putting it on. Um, and that wasn't the case with Saint. I saw somebody slap it on their face in a couple of minutes and I was like, what the holy manoli was that sorcery? I need to have it. And I ordered it like sight unseen. I got a color match and and they were right on and I got my makeup in the mail I was really sick the day that I got it so this was like four and a half years ago and um, I just had a really terrible cold and I was like miserable on the couch and it arrived in my mailbox and I opened it and I thought I'm I'm just gonna put some on because I can't wait like I, I was so intrigued by it so I put it on and I felt like shit, you guys. But I put it on it and my skin looked so good. And at the time when I first started with Saint, I actually had eczema around my mouth and my nose really bad. And I was afraid to try any other makeup because I was already super sensitive and everything irritated me anyway. And I just, I, I was honestly kind of afraid to switch to something. One of the coolest things about Saint is that it is a cream foundation. It works well on everybody's skin. It has humectants in it, so it brings moisture to the skin, which is really cool. And even if you're oily, oil is very different than moisture, by the way, um, or hydration. I was super dry when I started using this makeup, so for me, any type of dewiness was unexpected and um, really felt great. For my ladies that are oily, there's some troubleshooting tips that we do when they start. And one of them is to always set with powder for the first at least two to three weeks until your skin adjusts. And one of my friends who is a, a newer Saint customer actually just mentioned this yesterday. We went on a hike and we were talking a little bit about the makeup. And she's like, you know, I'm a non-makeup wearing person, but one of the things that's so cool about this is that it's easy to use. And, and then we started talking about troubleshooting and how it's different for everybody's skin. And she said, you know, I just switched deodorants from like a regular deodorant to a natural brand. And she goes, and that's kind of how the makeup acts. 
it's like your body, your skin takes a little bit of adjusting. And then as soon as it does, it just, everything works perfectly. But she said, you know, when I first switched to this other deodorant, she said it was a couple of days before I really felt like it was working, right? And that I thought was a great analogy for this makeup. So when you start out, I, I honestly, we have a 30 day money back and return exchange policy. And I think that it's really great because most people do need to get past that two to three week hump to really, really get the benefit of it. You're gonna feel different right away. It's gonna go on, it's beautiful, but to kind of get over that hump of where your skin is just adjusting to it. So, um, that's a fact about Saint, but I just wanna tell you a little bit more about the business end of it or how I color match people and things like that. A lot of times people will say, I'm thinking about this business, but I don't really know anything about makeup. I don't have a makeup background like you do or a beauty background. How am I gonna know how to color match people? Well, fun fact. You don't have to know. We're going to teach you everything. And what's cool about that too is that um, you're not left all alone. Your team will help you. We all kind of brainstorm together. But honestly, the way that you're going to become a pro at color matching is by getting it on people's faces. So the more people you can put it on, even if it's just your kids or your husband or anybody to play with it, the better you're gonna be at color matching. And um, also, most people can wear several colors, so there's a lot of forgiveness with it. So yeah, not to worry. If you don't have any makeup experience, honestly, sometimes it's easier because you're not trying to break any rules that you've come up with along the way. When I started, I had worked for a couple of makeup companies before. I did makeup for weddings and um, I honestly, I had to relearn. I had to kind of erase all of those things that I learned about traditional makeup and um, relearn. So if you don't know anything about makeup, you're at an advantage. And, and as you know, this makeup, if you, if you haven't used it yet, you've heard me say, like, you can't mess up. It's very forgiving and easy, and you just, you can't mess it up. So, do you guys have any questions for me? Let me think of some other fun facts. Um, oh, my color matching rate online, like virtual color, color matching, is like 98%. I definitely pride myself on that. And also know that if I color match you and you get your colors and they're not perfect, I will make it right. The company will also exchange and stuff, but um, I will make it right for you. So don't worry about that. What other fun facts are there? There's about, I think we're at like 30,000 um, artists across all of the United States and Canada. Excuse me. And that is such a small amount for a business like this. Uh, we may, we're a multi-million dollar company. In fact, last year at convention, I think that we hit a billion dollars so that was a really our millionth customer and a billion dollars so that was a really huge accomplishment but when I say that there's about 30,000 artists there's a very small percentage of those that are actually working the business um, working like I am so there's so much room for more people to come in and join don't worry that we've been around for five years and it's not too late it's not too late to join it's such a cool um just way to share something that you're already enjoying so i've had a couple of girls recently ask about the artist program and want to join but then they were scared they didn't want to be salesy 
and this happens. I've had some girls start and instead of just signing up to be an artist, they're like, you know what? I just want to host a party. I just want to host a class and I'll get some free stuff. And I'm like, sure, we can do that. And then they see how many of their friends and family buy from them from their party and the money that they could have made that I'm making instead. And uh, they'll still get free free stuff and free re rewards and some free products and, and things like that for having a successful party. But I don't know. I, I mean, I feel like we're all selling every day. We're selling ourselves. We're selling um, things that we'll never get paid for. Like I'm constantly talking about things that I love, that I bought at Amazon, that I found at Target that I will never make a penny on, <laughs> but it doesn't mean I'm not going to share them with you guys, right? So this is the same thing. When this started out for me, I really had no intention of making money. And I definitely had no intention of retiring from hair 10 years early to do this. I just thought uh, I was just going to sell it to some of my friends and my customers and hopefully maybe just get some free makeup. That was kind of my goal. I just thought, you know, if I get some free makeup, that's that's awesome. And it became so much more, and not just more financially, but it became so much more in that I gained this confidence that I I didn't realize I was missing. I really started taking care of myself better. I started learning and growing and just wanting to be a better person for myself, for my husband, for my friends. It's just, it's been such an amazing ride. I, it, it was something that I just didn't know that I needed in my life. And I'm so grateful to my customer that twisted my arm to become an artist because she wanted to buy this makeup from me. And that was really kind of the turning point. And I haven't looked back and I'm, I'm really thrilled about the makeup in general and just how it has helped me the way I feel about myself and mostly just the way that I can help other women feel beautiful and see, see their true beauty. It amazes me. I guess I was the same way that those flaws that I was always pointing out to people and they're like, I can't even see what you're talking about. I never could see it and I could never see flaws in other people, but you don't realize, we don't realize how much we put ourselves down and we pick out our little, little flaws and point them out to everybody and other people really aren't seeing them. So stop it, stop it, you're gorgeous. Anyway, I, I'm just babbling now, but I'm almost done doing my makeup. I might add some more fun stuff, but fun fact Friday. I hope you got a few uh, fun facts out of that. And if you guys need help getting color matched and you want to start with Saint, you want to get a compact of your own and get started, it is the best makeup for mature skin. I am 51 years old. I don't mind seeing some smile lines, but I can't tell you the texture of my skin has never, ever been this good. And it never dries out, it never cakes up, it doesn't settle into fine lines. It's just beautiful, beautiful skin. If you want beautiful skin, or at least for it to appear that you have beautiful skin, let me know reach out. I will help you get started and I want you to see your true beauty.